This area is an area that I grew up in as a youngster in New York. I grew up in Harlem. And not too far from here is where I went to junior high school. It's called William L. Ettinger, located on 106th Street between Madison Avenue and Park Avenue. And at the moment, we are on 105th Street and 5th Avenue. So it's not, it's about three blocks from here. So I know this area well, and at that junior high school is where I started playing the violin. down to the draft board, passing it with flying colors, where a lot of my friends were consciously and purposely failing it. I guess they were smarter than me. And, uh, and I got drafted. After I came home out of the military, I was sort of a basket case. I, uh, didn't know really who I was, what I was, where I was. If I hear a tire backfire, I would hit the ground. I was a, a mess. I was a total mess. I was a wreck of a human being. It's not difficult to be angry in the mid in the late 60s when you start realizing how America has always treated the black man. A lot of that information was not known to me growing up. But when I got home, I started finding out more and more about that information, about exploitation of the slaves and the true meaning of slavery that not only was upset about the past, I was just as much upset with the present. So I didn't need a big bill of sales to become politically oriented or militant. I've already had the background in military, so I was a great candidate. One particular day, we went to this pawn shop. Two of my friends were up front looking in the counter, examining the pistols that they had in there. Different kind of pistols, 25s, 32s, uh, uh, different weapons, different calibers. I uh, was in the back of the pawn shop that day, and I was looking up at the ceiling. They had violins hanging from the ceiling in this pawn shop. So while my friends were purchasing the pistols up front, I kept staring at these violins. And to be honest, I honestly thought I heard one of them whisper my name or whisper something that brought me, brought my attention to them hanging there and brought me into the area where they were hanging. So I asked the man in the pawn shop, how much did it cost for this instrument? I think he told me $20 then, perhaps $25. So I had the money, and I bought the violin. I got home from the Bronx, I looked at the violin, and I started, at that moment, I started playing the instrument again. I didn't sound good at all. But it was something about playing the violin that seemed to settle me down that particular day. It could have been the vibration of the strings that I felt harmony with all of a sudden. I, I felt so lost prior to this that this one moment I felt a sense of beauty. I felt a sense of reconnecting to something that I knew from the past. I felt not lost anymore. 